Hey everyone out there, welcome to another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. And I want to talk to you guys today about net metering. A lot of people think this is uh, some kind of unicorn myth and uh, I'm here to say personally it is not and I can prove it. What do I mean? Here's what I mean. I myself, um, I, we, I have a home, I have, oh, I have a couple. Um, I have some rental property and whatnot as well. And on one of my rental projects, what I did is I filled the roof with solar panels. Now that building currently sits completely empty. There's nobody in it. So all of the power that house, that property is making, I'm able to do what's called a Schedule Z. This is with National Grid here in Massachusetts. So that means I'm able to take all of the power that property is producing and I'm able to actually transport it to my residence, my personal residence. So I'm able to leave all the lights on in my house, uh, the air conditioning or whatever. And um, I don't really do that, but I'm just giving you a, a joke here. And what that means is that property with all those solar panels is covering all the expense and all the usage at my own residence. So this is something that you can do um, in limited areas. Now, not every utility company is this user friendly. Not every utility company, or a lot of them actually, are trying to still fight the whole solar movement. Um, it, it blows my mind that's even happening still because it's definitely coming. But the point is, if you don't know if you can do this, reach out to your power company. If you have, uh, you know, if, if you're an empty nester and your children have moved out and you want to help them, you know, you may not use all the solar or whatever that you may want to put on the roof. You have a large roof or a large colonial or something and your bill is smaller. You're able to take the extra. So if you use, we'll say $100 a, a month worth of electricity, this system produces $400 a month. You're able to take that chunk of 300 and put it on your children or your grandchildren or a coworker, really anybody's home, as long as, here's the catcher, it's within that same grid. So, what do I mean by that? If you live in Massachusetts, you can't schedule net metering, schedule Z, the power to your buddy in Florida, right? Uh, even if you're in Massachusetts, you can't schedule Z to your home in Martha's Vineyard. If it's within the same town or two neighboring town, it's most likely you can do that. And again, not results may vary, right? Not, not everything applies to everybody here. So reach out to your power company, Ask them if you can net meter from one property to another if you have an overage or an underused uh, appetite for energy on a specific property. So um, any questions you guys might have about that, please feel free to reach out and comment below. Uh, our team will respond and, and help you guys with anything you need because this channel, as we all know, is built on education and we just want to do what we can to try to bring as much value or answer any questions you guys may have to uh, the renewable energy industry. So with that, uh, if you like what we're doing here, you have any questions, you follow us along, hit the subscribe button below. And uh, every, every, what is it, every Tuesday and Friday, uh, we release a video here on Solar TV and we'll try to answer as many topics of the questions that we get on a continuous basis. So thanks for watching another episode here of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thank you.